So when we get out of the way and when we trust that when hiccups are happening, when breakdown is happening, when things are getting stolen, you have to sit back and know that there's a method to the madness. There's a reason why it's happening. And when... Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, love, attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. In this video, we are going to talk about how magical the universe is when you offer things up to it. I am a huge believer in asking the universe to change me into a woman who can stop if I'm going in the wrong direction, change me into a woman who can take action to maybe start the website, to start the podcast, whatever it is. I believe in offering everything up and asking the universe to help, right? Because if we are extensions of source energy, the way I see it as, if you can see this um, beautiful flower medallion behind me, if you can see that as source, and imagine there's streams of light, or maybe even vines, because it's flowers, imagine vines coming off of this medallion, and there's millions and billions of vines, right? And I am one vine, you're another vine, and we are all on planet earth with this vine kind of rooted in us and it's moving us, right? And our ego tries to grab the vine and move it to where we wanna go and to what house, what job, what person. And we feel a lot of restriction and backlash when we do that. But if we let go of the vine, right? And we allow it to move us because we're connected to source and source is in us, we are working with source. So when you're asking and offering, you're saying, hey, Vine, move me. <laughs> it's a weird visual. I've never used that before, but it's kind of perfect, right? We are all extensions of source. We are like the fingertips of source energy, and we have to allow the arm to move us. And when we can get out of the way, the universe will make magical things happen. So here's an example. I was reading one of Tosha Silver's books all over again. It's called Outrageous Openness. I highly recommend you read it. And hopefully I get all these details right, but she's an intuitive reader and she just tells story after story about her clients and the magic of the universe. So one of her friends or clients was getting involved with a guy named Tony and he came in and he was asking all of her friends to invest in his marketing business or I think it was some sort of promotion. I don't know what it was, but he was asking her and all of her friends to invest $5,000. And Tosha, the author of the book I'm reading, she happened to be one of her friends and she invested and she took $5,000 and put it towards this company. And the guy, Tony, literally scammed them all. And he vanished with an unlisted phone number. Like there was no way to get in touch with him. Every one of the friends freaked out went after him, was trying to find him. <laughs> but Tosha did something different. She offered it up and she said, universe, you know, you are my divine source. You are my divine supply. I know you will bring me that $5,000 back because you always take care of me. I am not going to feel a loss here. I know I can receive that. And you're just working through other people. So she said the prayer, she let it go. And a few months later, she gets a call from one of Tony's associates and apparently he scams people all the time. And this associate was calling Tosha saying, Hey, we have your money. I need you to meet up with me. And she was just like, this is really sketch. Like, I don't know if I should go. So she grabs one of her big guy friends. who's filled with tattoos to kind of scare the guy off. They go and meet and the associate was really nice. And the associate had a manila envelope with the money in it. And he said, I don't know why I'm doing this. Tony doesn't know why he's doing this. He never returns money, but he was really rattled about taking your money specifically. So because she prayed and because the universe jumped into Tony's body and forced him to give that money back, it's all an offering. It's a co-creation. The universe can literally make anything happen if you believe it. Even the situations that you just can't see a way out, you're like, there's no way this guy's bringing money back. Out of all the people he took from, he delivered <laughs> literally cash to Tosha back. So it is wild how when we do not get stressed when something is taken from us or when we have a big bill to pay or when something breaks down, if we offer it up and say, universe, you're my divine supply, I know you'll bring this back to me or I know you'll bring me the funds to pay for this thing. And we fully surrender to the vine that is moving us and allowing us to walk through life feeling protected and provided for. And if you think about the fact that we are connected to source energy, why would it want us to suffer? 
you know, the ego is what causes the suffering. The ego is what's judging every road that that vine is taking us down. You know, if we're going down a different road than we're not used to, and we're like, why are we here? Maybe we're being called to get divorced or to leave a job and it doesn't make sense, but the body is moving in that direction. It's saying, you know, maybe you have anxiety and you know, you're not supposed to be somewhere, but it doesn't make sense to leave. We have to follow the body. The body holds source energy. It's connected to us. It's moving us. So when we say, okay, universe, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to leave my job. I trust that you will bring me to my next step. And when you make that decision and you resign or you call and say, I'm sorry, I'm putting in my two weeks, I'm telling you the magic starts to unfold because you start to get taken down different roads that lead you to these types of situations where you get $10,000 overnight after you just quit your job. And that $10,000 would have taken you maybe two months to earn. And now you have a free two months to relax, to heal, to grow, and you have money to sit on while you get your next steps. And this is the beauty of being on the dance floor with the universe. This is the beauty of trusting that you're being led and you have everything inside of you. You just have to kind of step out of the way and let the body move you. When your heart's beating with joy, that's leading you to your next step. When you feel joy, when you feel excitement about something, you're being led by that vine. But when we get in our head and we start thinking, how am I going to make this work? I got to force this, or how can I get more clients? Or how can I get my business off the ground? Or how can I leave this relationship? Or how can I change my partner? You are gripping that vine and you're trying to force it in a direction. It is not wanting you to go down. And that's when you get sick. That's when you get exhausted. That's when you're tired of being this character that you're trying to play a role that's not meant for you. But if you were to lean back, let go and let the beating of your heart move you everywhere you need to go. Life becomes effortless. It becomes a flow, but yes, it can be scary because you have to trust to make that decision when your body is saying, this doesn't feel safe here. We got to move here. You have to do it. You literally have to resign or you have to leave the relationship or you have to start the thing that feels uncomfortable. And your fear will 100% try to stop your body from going in that direction. It'll, your mind will come in and tell you all the reasons about how you're going to fail. And, you know, what if you're successful, then you're going to lose all your free time, or then you're going to have too much on your plate. You're not going to be able to handle it all, or you're going to be seen and everybody's going to cancel culture. You, you know, you have to pay attention to that voice because that's the voice that's grabbing the vine and saying, don't go, <laughs> you're going to die. And you have to let go and say, divine source, move me, change me into a woman who can take this action with ease. And I'm telling you guys so many times on my journey, when I started my YouTube channel and I had to figure out all the small things, like how to do the description box, you know, how to put certain things in my videos, how to attach links, how to create a link tree, how to start my website, how to create a coaching program, how to do all these little things that my brain is not designed to do. I was a teacher. I'm made to perform and, and to be active and to be funny. And I was not a computer person. I was not, I mean, I was good with technology and stuff, but I just didn't know the best way to do things revolving my business and marketing. But every night I had anxiety and I would say, universe, jump into my body and change me into a woman who could do this. And the next morning I'd be on my computer for like three hours in a row and I'd be doing it. And I would get done and go, oh, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> but meanwhile, it took me four months to start. And I just was like, why didn't I do that sooner? But it's because I prayed. I prayed and I asked to be used as a vessel. And I asked that vine to move me. And when we offer it up and when we ask, it's permission for us to get out of the way and we actually do it. Universe literally takes over our body and it does it for us, but you have to give it permission to move you. You know, imagine if that vine was just flat, right? It wasn't moving. It was still. And then as soon as you offer it up and say, universe, move me, the vine awakens and then it starts to move you. If you can keep that visual in your head forever, you are going to master life. You're going to be so in the flow all the time. You're going to be just like Tosha. You know, money gets taken from you and you just say, okay, Vine Universe, could you bring that back to me in whatever way? She wasn't even expecting it to come back from that guy, Tony. She just knew that the universe would bring it back in another way because it does do that. And here's another example. One time I took my Jeep to go get 
fixed at the mechanic. And I guess they left my Jeep open overnight and they let it, my Jeep sit outside. Well, somebody went into my glove box and they stole my insurance card and my registration card. And I called my brother-in-law because he's a detective in that town. And I was like, hey, like, what can somebody do with those two things? I'm like, can they steal my identity? And he was like, no, not really. He's like, I don't know why that happened. Well, the cost to fix my Jeep was $900. And I had been manifesting universe. Could you please pay this bill for me? I don't want to pay it. Well, what happened was I had to go back onto my insurance site to go, you know, get a new card delivered to me. And then um, I had to get a new registration card. So when I went into my insurance, I saw what I was paying and I was like, you know what? I could probably do better. So I went and quoted another company and I got a new quote. Well, guess what? I switched my insurance that night that my card was stolen. And guess how much money I saved by switching my insurance? $900, literally. <laughs> I did the exact math. I saved $900 a year by switching my insurance that night. So the universe was literally bringing me money from a different source to pay for my Jeep to get fixed. It was exactly $900, you guys. I'm not making this up. But it made it happen in the most weird way, like stealing my insurance card and my registration card. And it was harmless, thank God, right? Because the universe was taking care of me. But it it drew me to take action. It drew me to go onto the website and to be like, what am I paying? Like, oh my gosh, I had this new awareness and I was being moved. I was being moved to go online. And within 20 minutes, I had a new insurance card emailed to me. I had a new rate. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank God that everything got stolen because <laughs> now I just saved $900 a year and I can take that money and I can put it towards paying for my Jeep. So when we get out of the way and when we trust that when hiccups are happening, when breakdown is happening, when things are getting stolen, you have to sit back and know that there's a method to the madness. There's a reason why it's happening. And when we flow with life like that, it becomes effortless. You're no longer in ego going, oh my gosh, like anybody else would have been going to bed that night, freaking out about their identity, freaking out about, you know, why would somebody do that? They would be going into the mechanic and, and maybe yelling at the mechanic, I, how dare you leave my Jeep open? But anyway, it is relaxed energy. We're trusting and having faith that this divine power is serving us in every single moment. The universe is in everything. There's no bad. Everything is for us. Okay. So surrender into that and also be open to being moved. And if you need help, book a session with me, book my mentorship. It is a serious art <laughs> to learn how to be moved, how to let that vine take you and move you because your mind is so strong and you've been using your mind your whole life until you awakened. And it's a battle. Sometimes you don't know, is this my mind? my ego telling me to go, or is this my intuition? And that's the part of the journey that I'm really good at is helping you decipher between the two. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. I love hearing stories of the magic about how things get taken from us and then they come back or how the universe shows up to provide for us right when we need it. So have faith. It is showing up for you right now in every single moment. You just have to get out of that mind and be moved. All right, lovies be moved to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so we can get these messages out there for more people to learn how to be moved. We do not want to be doers. We want to be beers. We want to be movers. All right. I'm sending you so much love. All right. Peace out.